Lord, 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 and thank you so much for your patience. We are here, and it is a Thursday night, a little bit after 5 p.m., and we are ready to get ready with some Flow Yoga Mom. All right, welcome. My name is Cecily. This is Yogi Cecily. And I remind everybody that if you ever miss a live class with me, you can always find everything on YouTube under Yogi Cecily. And uh, let's go ahead and get started seated. I'm sitting up on my blanket. And hey, everybody, I want to make sure that you um, always, you know, get all of your yoga equipment around you. Now, I've been watching videos and I've been, uh, you know, some, some videos are people, are videos of people watching you know, somebody else's video. So it, it's like a video of them practicing online yoga. You know, and they don't have their equipment. They don't have everything that they need. So uh, I do recommend, even for a vinyasa class, uh, good sturdy yoga blocks. Why not, yeah? So I've got my blocks side to side. Go ahead, let's take the right foot on top of the left, which is pretty much where I usually start. And uh, this position, this folded leg position, can be really hard for a lot of people. I, I truly get it. And uh, the knees get stiff, the knees get cranky, you know, so you actually want to have a good regimen of bending and straightening and, you know, keeping the legs in good, um, good flexibility. So doing things that might be like, uh, you know, compression or, or, or not bending your knees, like sort of, oh, 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 you know, like not bending your knees. You actually want to have a good regimen and try as often as possible to come to these bent knee positions, especially if you're going to be practicing yoga. So right foot on top, right? Let's just go ahead and take a forward fold over this position. As usual, I've got a block. I'm just going to bring my forehead down on it. Yeah. So there you are. Now, for, for us tonight, I'm going to lift up on my elbows so I can look at you and see you and talk to you. You can just go ahead and keep your head down if you want to. And you're going to feel the stretch, I know, I know, across your knees. You're going to maybe feel uh, your ankles, hip sockets across the back of your sacrum. I know. Right? Just remember, there are a lot of people in the world, they don't have, uh, you know, they don't have... Uh, chairs, they don't have yoga mats, they don't have anything, they just, just sit on the ground and let their joints bend in the way that they were designed to bend. Let's go ahead and change legs. Put your left leg on the top, right leg on the bottom, and hands out in front. I'm just going to take a little walk out. If you feel like you only want to go as far as putting your elbows down, right, the block can go there for your elbows. Some people, your forehead will go all the way down. And we just sort of work this position and believe in this position. Believe that your knees were designed to bend, as cranky as they might be. <laughs> knees are designed to bend, right? Take a few more deep breaths here. <sighs> good, 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 right? We're here for vinyasa practice. We want to move, we want to go, but we also want to stretch and strengthen. Mm -hmm. While you're sitting here, let's switch again, put the right on the top. You know, the last few classes, I've been focusing on opening up the chest. Maybe we might get into some back bending tonight. So go ahead and take your hands up. Peel your chest open, send your elbows back, 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 and then a full connection of the entire forearm in the front, palms and elbows. So we're gonna go back, way back, keep going back. Breathe as many times as you like. Just keep peeling your arms back, inhale. And exhale, bring them on forward, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze it in. Yep, two more, back, 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 back. Yep, and squeeze it in, squeeze it in, squeeze it in. And a one more time, back, back. See, you're going to feel the shoulder blades, pin the shoulder blades together, but then also let them drop down behind your ribs, squeeze back, and then all the way together. Wonderful. Arms at your sides. Let's stretch to the right. Mm -hmm. And then stretch to the left. Mm -hmm. And to the right. Mm -hmm. And to the left. One more time, please, right. And the left. 
Good, 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 good. Okay, coming on up. Changing legs. You're going to put the left leg on top. Let's do that upper body bit again. So bend at the elbows. Palms up, peel back, back. Back, 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 back. And then squeeze forward. Get the elbows together. Yep, and three more. Back. Breathe as much as you like. Back, back, back. Open the chest. Roll the collarbones back. And then squeeze in, in. You feel some heat in the shoulders. That's what we want. Back, 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 back. Back. And squeeze in the front. Use the pectoralis. And then one more time. Back, 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 back. And squeeze in the front. Okay, arms at the side. Go to the left. Left. Yeah, and change. And right. Good, and change, and left. Good, and change, and right. Beautiful, good. Face the right side, extend your legs out. Now that feels good, you know? It just feels good to kind of just stretch. Oh, rub the legs down. Just give them a little bit of a rub down, yeah? Open them up, open them up. Great, all right, from here, I kind of want to do a little bit the same thing. We're going to send the ribs forward, send the shoulders back, so there's a bit of an arch in the back. Send your arms up, and believe it or not, I want you to think that there's a wall behind you, and you're falling back to the wall. Three, and two, and one prayer position. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. And three, and two, and one, come up. So we're putting that bit of an arch in the back. The ribs go way forward. The arms go up and maybe a little bit wider. And back. And back. And back like you're trying to touch a wall behind you. And prayer position. Breathe. Forward fold. Way down. Now this is a, a lot of work to get the deepest position in both, both uh, sides. You know, going, you're going into a back bend. So you're trying to open all of this. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, open the front ribs, come into the prayer position, breathe, yep, and then into your forward fold, way down, way down, way down. So that's asking a lot. Go ahead, take your knees back around you, you're on all fours, on all fours. Good, take your right foot up, hold on to it with your left hand, lift up, roll the shoulders back, get the ribs out in front, lift up, you can flex or point the foot. Lift up, three, lift up, two, up, 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 and one. Good, downward facing dog, inhale, plank pose, five, downward dog, back, 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 plank pose, four, downward dog, back, 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 plank pose, three, yep, and back, Good, good, plank pose, two, roll, roll, and back. One more time, please, plank pose, roll through the body, inhale, and back to downward dog, exhale, and a child's pose, right on. Good, good, child's pose goes right there, feels so good. Okay, wonderful, come on up, put your right foot forward. Okay, nice. This is your left hand. Take your left hand back to your left foot. So it's kind of, you know, getting into back bending. Then take your right arm up and open. It's almost like there's a wall behind you and you're trying to touch it. Three and breathe. Two and breathe and one. Good. Just relax down and forward. We're going to do this two more times. We're just going to do this two more times. So come on up in the prayer position first. Take your left hand. You can look. I don't mind if you twist, twist, and look. And then bring your chest around nice and even and send your right arm back. Five, four. See, that right arm is going to open fairly broadly. Three. And I'm almost falling back, leaning back. Two and one. Hands down to the floor in front of you. No particular stretch, just release. Now, are you thinking like, oh, Lord, how is she just starting with back bending? Well, do you ever wonder why do we start with hamstring opening? So sometimes I think uh, we struggle with back bending uh, because we don't look at it as a whole and complete study. You know, for me, this is these are the warm up back bendings. I'm just warming up, 
just just like doing a forward fold. So when we do chaturanga vinyasa, the first thing we do is a forward fold. Good. And from here, prasadita, padottanasana. Go ahead and face me. Now, enjoy the stretch. Do whatever you like here. I'm going to go medium wide, fairly wide, and then bring my elbows down, way down, way down. Yep. Right in there. So it's not my widest and it's not my lowest. I just want to release through my back. Good, good. And then go ahead and turn to the left here in downward facing dog. Okay. Mm. Five times, please. Plank pose. Inhale. Down dog. Exhale. Again, plank pose. Inhale. Down dog. Exhale. Right up. See? Plank pose. Inhale. Push back. Down dog. Exhale. Wrap the shoulder blades together. Yeah. Plank pose. Inhale. Down dog, exhale, lift the belly button, maybe tuck your tailbone. Once more, plank pose, inhale, and down dog, exhale. Wonderful, go ahead and bend your knees, okay. Left leg back, you're gonna hold on to your left foot with your right hand. Mm -hmm. Here we go. You have to tell your foot, it's your intention for it to go up. And what allows your leg to go high is actually the buttocks, yeah? The buttocks, the buttocks. So you have to actually push up, three, push up, flex a point. I don't mind either way. Two, 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 and one. Excellent. Go ahead, step the left foot forward, and come up. Nice, breathe. So now send your right hand back, nice, easy, no big deal. And maybe you're just looking up at the sky. Maybe you're just looking just straight up. Even if you go straight up from here, you're getting up back then, yeah? And then come down to the center, just relax. Mm -hmm. Good, coming up in prayer. Yeah, some of you, if you ever read the book Hellbent, you know, he talks about going to the back bending retreats, you know, the very intense retreats. Now, I don't recommend that amount of intensity, but I do do agree that to get into back bending, you have to do it often, almost like you're going to become a specialist, especially if it just is a little scary to you, right? And come up. Good, both hands to the ground. Easy, easy, gang, easy. All right. And I come up in a prayer position. Good, we go again. Right hand down. Now I'm sending, what would be your left arm, I'm sending it back like I'm trying to touch a wall behind me. Three, you know, and on the wide side. Two, reach back, and wide is okay. And one, good, hands down. Trasavita, Pranatanasana. Well, go ahead, take the stretch wherever you like. And some of you might want to feel like you want to lift up here. You know, you might be thinking, mm -hmm, I'm going to be down that low. So I'm going to lift up here and breathe. Some of you are just ready to go down lower. So that's my recommendation. You're gonna work on some back bending. You've gotta really maybe not focus on the forward fold and the hamstring stretching as much, right? Let's go ahead and take this to the right, downward facing dog, inhale, exhale. Great, good. Take the right leg up, inhale. Yeah, bend it in the air. And lift the right knee higher. I don't mind a little rotation out of the hip. Right leg higher, higher. Three, and bend and squeeze more. Two, 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 and one. That foot comes down. Left leg goes up. Take it up. Bend it in the air. Now tell your knee, you know, tell your knee. Say, hey, knee, knee. Not the foot. You're not trying to get your foot up. Say, hey, knee, <laughs> get higher. Three, knee, knee, knee. Go up, 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 two. Up, 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 and a one. Great child's pose. Child's pose. Now, let's, let me give you a little bit of counsel here now. We will do chaturanga vinyasas, and you have to make some decision about what you want out of your upward facing dog. So if our asana practice is going to include quite a bit of back bending, 
sometimes I, I de-emphasize upward facing dog, right? So let's walk your hands back to your feet. Please look at halfway up, inhaling. Exhale, press back down, 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 down. Walk your hands out. Step or jump chaturanga. Depends on how you're feeling, right? Upward facing dog. Inhale. Mm -hmm. And down dog. Exhale. Great, 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 great. Bend your knees to all fours and sit back towards the heels. Nice, easy, gentle. No big deal camel pose. Look how I'm going to build the camel pose. I put my hands on my feet first. Then you got to figure your hands are already on your feet. So how to press the buttocks up away from your feet. So that, that's just all glute. That's all glute muscle. And of course the quadriceps and hip flexors are opening. And then you're in your full camel. Three and two and one. Unfurl, chin to chest, belly button to spine, have a seat. Right forward bow, forward bow. Downward facing dog, inhale, exhale. Good, walk your hands back to your feet. Look halfway up, inhale. Mm -hmm. Exhale, down, 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 down. Step or jump, chaturanga vinyasa. Right, if you're jumping, it takes a moment. Upward facing dog, it takes a little bit of a like, yeah, that's what I'm getting ready to do, right? Downward facing dog, good. I think a lot of people rush the jump. Bend your knees to all fours. Cecily, are we going to do more camel? Yeah, we are. <laughs> Two more times this way. I would, I would like to see all of my clients and students understand this, this particular approach. Now, I know what's going to happen. You get here, and you're like, I'm stuck. I can't go higher. Right? So that's exactly what you have to figure out. That's exactly what you figure out, is how to roll that pelvis forward and through. See, and then keep moving. So that's the buttocks and the quads are opening. Three and two and one. Good, have a seat forward, back, round. Great, we get into all of that just one more time. Stay with me here in downward facing dog. That feels good. That feels great. Walk your hands back to your feet. Good, look halfway up, inhale. Notice I'm not coming all the way up. I just wanna come halfway up. Take the breath, exhale, forward fold, step or jump, chaturanga vinyasa. Hey, why not step? Why not step? <laughs> Upward facing dog, inhale. Some of you might just wanna to switch to cobra and then downward facing dog goes here, exhale. Great, last one, last camel. Sit back. Mm -hmm. And we will go from camel, we will go from Ustrasana into Urdhva Dhanurasana. And when we do this now, y'all at home, just remember that's not for everyone. It's not for everyone. Hey, and give yourself a grain of salt. So if backbending is not your dealio, you know, just keep modifying and you know, play, play along. It's like going to Las Vegas, just play along. You don't have to be a professional gambler to have fun. So dig it. I'm going to send the hips forward, and then I'm going to lean back. Now, if you want to go into Urdhva Dhanurasana later on in class, you'll have to flex your feet. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now, and then actually pull away. Three, and two, and one, good. Point my toes, sit it back, round down, and downward facing dog. All right. Well, don't be disheartened. If that, if all of that just seemed really hard, don't be disheartened. It used to be hard for me too. Real hard. From here, check it out. I want you to go ahead and take your right leg up. Yeah, I'm going to turn my back to you. This is called some people call it a rock star. And you're just going to flip and put your right foot on the left side of your mat and just push up. And hey, it feels just as much like a side plank as anything else. Now we're going to go right back. I'm not going to make a big deal out of it. So I'm not going to go into the full, full arc back position. So now let's try it again. I'm going to scooch out a little bit. Lift your left leg. 
bend it in the air. Now you're rotating towards me. You might as well think you're making a side plank. Yeah, and then roll the side plank up. So now you're looking at the ceiling. Three and two and a one. Hey, hey. Good, good, good. From here, right leg lift, please. Step the right foot forward. Lunge. Prasadi to Padottanasana. Maybe come up. Maybe come up higher. I'll tell you a little secret. When I am working on back bending, I de emphasize uh, forward fold. Because you're asking a lot from your spine to, to go deeply forward and deeply back. So that's something you can you can try on your own and try to explore that on your own. It's very big ask. Let's turn to the left side, downward facing dog. Yes, good. Great, great, great. And the rock star again, you know? Go ahead and start with your right leg again. So you're gonna start with your right leg. You're gonna be flipping the dog or rock starring towards me. Foot goes down. Now look, look how I'm thinking of it as a side plank first. I get up on the ball of the foot and then use my hand and both feet to help rotate me. So now I'm looking at the seal. Three and two and a one, downward dog. Yeah, we'll go the other way. Yeah, you're gonna twist it away from me, both sides. So now it's gonna be your left leg lift. You're gonna twist away from me, that's okay, I trust you. You're gonna get that foot down, think side plank, and then push and roll the body. You are going upside down, three and two and one. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back, nice. From here, please, left leg lift. Uh -huh. Step your left foot forward, lunge. Prasadi to Padottanasana, come on, face me. Think about what you want in this position. Yeah, I'm sweating. We're still having a little bit of a heat wave. Not as bad as a few weeks ago, but I am sweating. <laughs> all right, from here, let's come on up, standing up. Stand all the way up, inhaling. Great, great, hands on your hips. Jump your feet to the center, boop, and make a chair pose. Ooh, katasana. Five, four, so this works nicely. Three, with all of the back work and back bending. Two, do try to sit low, rock your body weight back into your heels. And one, stand all the way upright, inhaling. Please take your right foot in traditional tree, just a traditional tree pose. Now dig it, so to match with the back bending, right, we're going to do um, a, a lot of bent leg work, you see, so that those go together nicely, you know, back bending and lotus, right, because you kind of want to stay away from extreme, like splits, forward fold, you want to stay away from those. Take both arms up, hey, I'm a tree. Look, look how big and open this pose is. I'm pushing my right knee back. I'm actually tucking my tailbone and trying to broaden my side ribs. Maintain your balance. Then hands in prayer, lovely. Here's my greatest recommendation. Use your hands to elegantly take the foot out and that foot goes down. Good, arms overhead, inhale. Take an easy forward fold and just step out to Prasari to Padottanasana. Enjoy the stretch. Some of you might want to take an inversion. Some of you like to put your headstands here. Now, how do you get to a headstand from here? Well, I have a tutorial on Instagram. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. It's, mm, it's maybe a year old though, so you're gonna to have to go back. So all of those videos are on IGTV and I am Cecily underscore Yogi on IGTV. So that's where you're gonna to wanna to find all my little dissected tips and videos and tutorials, jump your feet together. Mm -hmm. Left foot tree. Now, listen, sweet, sweet people, when, when and if we all get back together, mm -hmm, 
one of the things that I hope has come out of your home practice and shelter in place is, is a sense of your work on your mat. I've been reading a lot of videos. Let's go ahead and take the arms up. A lot of videos, people are like, mm, I just didn't get to it this week or, oh, things that are happening in the world are distracting me. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Not if you practice yoga. Yoga is designed for you to keep your dedication and keep your practice. It's designed for that. Bring our hands down in prayer. Now look at, look here. Calmly take the foot out. See? And maintain poise. Arms go overhead. Inhale. Gentle forward pull. Maybe you're using a block and you just step out wide. Some of you are jumping. Depending on where you're facing in your mat, you can take vinyasa. You can take chaturanga vinyasa. Some of you want to power up. But you will notice that, especially if I'm going to do a, um, a deliverable practice. So what I mean by that is we're looking at back bending. You will notice that I take a lot of the chaturanga vinyasa out. Because why? <laughs> all right. Wiggle in. You're going to stand all the way up. Inhale. So you might be feeling you're not getting as much of a, of a, of a cardio or a heart rate or burning and all of those kinds of things. But, you know, who cares? We don't need that all the time. Now you're going to take your right foot across to the left hip in Virksasana. Virksasana. Why are we doing the standing balance poses here and the knee bending poses here? So your back can rest. Right? And specifically trying to not do any back bending or anything extreme from the, you know, for the, for the back. Now some of you have the binding, so go ahead and take it. If that's you, yay. Mm -hmm. And if that's you and you want to add the forward fold, those of you out there who studied Ashtanga, go ahead. You can take the forward fold. You can use a block. All right, five, four, three. Block is kind of far out there. There it is, two. Yeah. And one, and I'm going to easy, you know, coming up is the hardest part. Coming up is harder than forward folding. Yay, but we did it. Let's go ahead and easy and elegantly take the foot out, arms overhead, inhale. Forward fold, you're gonna step out to prostrate again. If you wanna to turn to the side and get chaturanga vinyasa, that's on you. If you wanna go and do an inversion, that's on you. You might be thinking, Cecily, are we ever gonna do inversions in these videos, nope. <laughs> you know, maybe once in a blue moon. See, I'm not going to show you that in this type of video. Right? I'll work. I will work with you privately online. I will work with you privately. But see, I already know. Let's go ahead and wiggle in. I already know. Like, if I show inversions. I, I can just see it already. Somebody's going to get all messed up in their condo, <laughs> in their apartment, on their patio. Inversions are not, not to be taken for granted. Okay, so now the left foot, you're going to cross it high up. Look how high I bring the foot. And then I deliver the knee down after the foot is high. See, and then that's going to ensure that the binding is going to be there for you. Taking the forward fold, well, all right. Well, bless you. Five, not necessary, but four, however, if you practice your shtanga, it just feels natural that you should do it here. Three, notice I'm not going as deep as I could. Two, all right, just getting the legs to work, just getting the legs to fasten up a little bit. And coming up, you're going to have to squeeze into all of your leg muscles and definitely use your right glute to bring you upright. Elegant, soft release of the foot. Hey, it's yoga. Good, arms overhead, inhale. And exhale, forward fold. Step your feet out. Step your feet out, prasadita. That feels so good. Feels so good. Breathe here, five. And four. Deep inhale, three. Gorgeous exhale, two. 
On the next breath, you're gonna be turning to the right and downward facing dog. Hey, we're back. We're back, downward dog, good. Take some pedal pushers because that's gonna make your knees feel real good. All right, let's get into some vinyasa flow. Let's get the heart rate back. Right leg, lift, step forward, lunge. High crescent warrior, up, up, up. High crescent warrior, three and two and one. Plank chaturanga, up to spacing dog, downward dog. We're gonna do that three times. Work with me, we're gonna do all of that three times. Downward dog, good, left leg, lift. Step forward, lunge, high crescent Warrior, up, 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 five, four, and three, and two, and one, chaturanga vinyasa. Right, upward facing dog, and hips, big toes together. Uh-huh, downward facing dog, exhale, work it out, children. Right leg lift, step forward, lunge, high crescent warrior. Mm -hmm. I've got the power, remember that song? You gotta be of a certain age. I've got the power, plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog, feeling, feeling, feeling kind of heavy, feeling, feeling, good, downward facing dog. And left leg lift, step forward, lunge. A high, high crescent warrior, three, and two, and one, plank, chaturanga vinyasa, mm -hmm. Upward facing dog, inhale, yes, downward dog, exhale, wonderful, take a child's pose, inhale, and exhale, nice, nice, good, well go ahead and lift up from here, step your left foot forward to the outside of your mat, and then send your right knee back a bit. Some folks call these the lizard lunges. And then let's go ahead and take your left hand up, back, and then you're gonna grab your right foot. And this goes with our back bending uh, strategy for today, five, four. The back bending, a lot of it is hip flexor quadricep opening, three, two, so really, Really want to open my quad, my hip flexor. And a one. Great. Changing sides. Just step, just step your right foot forward. Mm -hmm. You're going to twist away from me a little bit, yeah? Take your right hand up. Take your right hand back, and you're going to find the left foot. Five, four. Now, why? Why? Some of you know, some of you know your anatomy and your kinesiology, you know your mobility training. You know, why would I want to open the quad and the hip flexor if I'm doing going to do back bending? Isn't it because of tight shoulders? Mm -mm -mm. Right? Everybody's body is different. Downward facing dog, please. Great. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good. Walk your hands back to your feet. Stand all the way up, inhaling. And prayer position. Great. Yeah, it is about opening your shoulders. Mm -hmm. But back bending is also hip opening. My students know that. I used to say that all the time. Back bending has to do with opening this panel, this front panel of your body. So let's take a back bend here. You've got your right foot a little bit forward, left foot back in a staggered stance. Back bending, keep your hands in prayer. Five, four. Always something has to go forward. Three, your pelvis has to go forward for your ribs to go back. Two, 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 and one. Just halfway forward fold. I'm gonna take a reverse prayer, my arms over my back in reverse prayer. Just halfway, five. If you wanna go all the way down, go ahead, four. Three, but I'm interested in back bending tonight. Two and one. Keeping the hands in reverse prayer. Don't be surprised if you get less back bending. We're going back. Five. Really want to cleave my upper back with my fingers. Four. Mm -hmm. Three. Two. I'm going to let my throat open fully. And one, come upright. 
Great, great, great. Hands on your hips, just halfway, forward fold, just halfway. Good, come on, up inhale. Lace the fingers in the front, point your index finger. This is the last back bending here. It's a full reach back with straight arms. Here you go, five. Look how I set my hips first. Four, you're gonna see the last thing that I do is my arms. Three, two, and one. Inhale, up right, woo, face me. Nice, nice. Easy forward fold, prasadi to padottanasana. And you notice I'm not even standing wide. Now move some things around. I know what you're thinking. You're like, oh, oh, I'm feeling, I'm starting to feel my back. Well, take it easy, be thoughtful. Let's turn to the left, chaturanga vinyasa. Be mindful, upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. Mm hmm child's pose. Great. Mm -hmm. Somebody posted on Twitter today, I forget the gal's name. And she posted, she says, uh, she's a martial artist. And uh, she's got a lot of belts and a lot of, uh, I think jujitsu, but anyway. Um, she said, she, she tweeted, a, a lot of people practice, uh, uh, no, she said, a lot of people have expectations that exceed what they're willing to practice. I was like, yeah, girl, <laughs> you're talking my language. A lot of people have expectations that exceed what they are willing to practice. Basically, she's saying, how are you going to get there without going there, <laughs> okay? So go ahead, downward facing dog. Walk your hands back to your feet. We are standing up, nice and easy. How are you going to get there without ever going there. Mm -hmm. Step the left foot forward. Mm -hmm. Hands in the forward prayer, five count back bend. Here you go. And five, four, three, two. So I'm not gonna make a big deal out of the first one. I, I am sending the hips forward though. And one, halfway forward fold. Finding your reverse prayer now. And that's a whole nother study, how to, how to actually get your hands into a very good reverse prayer. Come on up, five count, back bend. Here we go. Wave, five, four. Now see, in this iteration, because of the, the fingers, I'm gonna cleave my upper back with the fingers, three, and start to open my throat. Two, and see the wall behind me. And one, chin to chest, belly button, spine, yes? Good, coming up, hands on the hips, and halfway, forward fold. That's all you need. Mm -hmm. Oh, coming on, up, inhale, lace the fingertips. Point the index fingers, right? So, this is the full reaching back, back bend. Look how I set my hips first. Here we go, five. I work with my pelvis first, and four. I'm actually trying to pull my yoga mat together. Three. I open the chest to the sky, then add the arms, two. And then maybe, maybe let my head back. I don't always let my head back. I want to see the ceiling. And one, good. Face me. Easy peasy, forward fold, prasadi to padottanasana. Use a block. I'm using a block tonight so that, so, so that I can actually let my back rest. I want to let my back rest. Now we're going we're gonna to go away from the back bending again. So I wiggle in, get rid of the block, and stand all the way upright. <sighs> Jump your feet together. Hey, I see you all writing messages. Hi. Okay, good. Now. So we're going to go back into some more bended knee stuff. And what is better than Garudasana, the eagle wrap? Hey, Isaac, I'm, I'm telling you, some of you folks, this is a really hard pose. If you've been a client of mine, you know why, right? You know why it is, right? Your, your legs just naturally externally rotate. So coming, coming into the inside is difficult. 
Well, just bring my hands together in prayer. I put my thumbs and my index fingers together and then send my hands out in a kind of V shape. Keep my shoulders up, keep my chest up, and I'm going to sit lower, lower, lower. All right, just a few inches and lower. Three, two, prayer position one. Unravel, come on up. Mm -hmm. Well, go ahead and face the right. Take a chaturanga vinyasa because we want to pump it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Upward facing dog, inhale. And downward dog, exhale. Mm -hmm. Jump to the center, then straighten out your legs. Look halfway up. Stand all the way up, prayer position, and face me. Left leg, Garudasana. See, I've also Garudasana goes with the back bending because I'm actually trying to uh, uh, pull everything back together. See, back, back bending sort of, you're spreading your front body out. So we need something that kind of pulls the front body back together. So start with hands in prayer. Thumbs and index fingers, and then reach out in a bit of a diagonal. And you're just squeezing in and sitting down. Three. A little bit lower, a little bit lower. Two. A little bit lower. Yeah, you did it. Yeah, you did it. Come on up. Uh -huh. Let's face the left side. Arms overhead. Inhale. And exhale, forward fold. Well, walk out, jump out, step out, plank, chaturanga. Now, you are almost done tonight. But uh, we have to do a couple of, uh, well, I guess maybe wicked, <laughs> wicked things. I always, um, let's go to child's pose. Good. Come on up. So, because uh, I, I promised a couple of people, um, I promised a couple of my students that we would, we would do this back then. Those folks who can already do this work, it's, it's just like butter to them, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like you know, a buttery biscuit. <laughs> they, just, they just eat these positions. And then other people, and I was working with somebody earlier today, other people are just like, nope, nope, nope. It's a hard biscuit that's been in the refrigerator for three days. It's not worth it. You can't even reheat it. It's not worth it. This is going to be a rock star to upward facing bow. You're going to use your left foot first and flip the dog towards you. So check it out. Your downward facing dog. Now, if you just want to watch me, uh, you can you can just watch and watch me go through the cues. Yeah. So the first thing that I do is I know the whole thing is going to go towards the right, towards you. So I want you to notice how I'm, I'm moving away from you. I'm moving away from you towards the bench. So I'm on this side of the mat. Then you're going to lift your left leg. Now, look at my right hand. Look what I'm doing with my right hand. I'm going to turn my right hand a little bit so that it's ready to rotate. That is what keeps most people away from this pose. They're not ready to rotate their arm. I flip the dog, but I don't make a big deal out of that. And I want you to notice I'm looking down at the ground. Look at how I'm positioning my feet and walking my feet and I begin to turn the body over. Notice that I never look at the ceiling. Whatever you do, don't look up. Why don't look up? Because you're going down. You're rotating down. You're not rotating up, you're rotating down. Now getting back is harder. Look what I'm doing with my feet and with my hands to push and come back. Child's pose. Woo woo. Child's pose. You get a rest. We do not need chaturanga vinyasa after that. I don't think. I don't think you do. Mm -hmm. Let's face the other way. Just come on around, face the other way. Don't make a big deal out of it. My students know, okay, I've been practicing yoga 23 years, more than 20 years. It's only in the last five years that I've been able to dissect this maneuver. So if this maneuver scares you, if it's difficult for you, 
Give it another decade. <laughs> Give it another 10 years. Are you in a hurry? You're, you're in a hurry with your yoga poses. You're in a hurry like, oh, oh, oh you got to get them now. Don't be in a hurry. Then you won't have anything to do. It will all be done. Now, look, I'm moving away from you. I'm going to move away from you. You're going to use the right leg this time. See, the right leg goes up. Look how the entire sequence flips toward you. It flips toward you. Now, I'm not doing the most beautiful rock star, and I've got to pivot my hand. I really don't care about a beautiful rock star when I'm going into this particular maneuver. Look, I'm going to pivot the body, and I'm never looking at the ceiling. I'm only looking at the floor because that's where you're going. Change the hands, rotate the hands, push up. Get as much as you can out of the pose. Five, four, and three, two, and one. Coming back is harder. What if you get stuck? You'll have to lower down onto your head. And you have to get good at that. And then we're all just going to be on our backs. You have to get good at uh, having a plan to get out. So I wanted to show you that. I wanted to show you like, okay, well, what if I get stuck there? Now, everybody, you're back on your back. And that feels good. Give your knees a hug. That feels good. And now just let's finish with a reclining um, lotus, a reclining lotus. Take your left foot, cross it high up and over your right, and then bring your right foot in, yeah, or bring your left foot into your right buttock. Then I'm going to bring it right into my buttock and hold on to it, hold on to it with your right hand. Mm -hmm. Some of you can change that foot and bring it over the front. So if you can bring it over the front, then what have you made? You've made a reclining lotus. Five, four. So the foot is either on the back of butts or across in the front. Three. Two. And use your hands to unravel. And one. Good. Good, good, good. Well, what goes really, really nice with all of that deep knee bending is just a nice dead bug. Now, you could go to plow. Part of me wants to go, go all the way back to plow. I think I'm going to wait until the very end and just do one plow. I don't want to double down on the plow. But if you feel like going to the plow is just what your back needs, then do it. We're going to finish here now. Now it's going to be your left foot crossing up high on the right hip. Bring the right foot in and hold on to it in the back position. That will work. Why not do that? Why not just hold here? You don't have to wrap into lotus. Some of you got it. All right? You can do this half, but do make sure this foot is way down on the hip. Hold on to it. Four. See, I'm holding on to my feet. Three. So good, so good, so good. I like to feel it so good. All right. And then a dead bug, and I am going to go ahead and go into a plow pose. So I'm going to wait until the very, very end of class to do a deep forward fold. So plow pose is actually a deep forward fold. Five, four. You can always reach back for your feet. Three. And if you want to do shoulder stand, you know, you know what you want. Two. I can't do everything. We can't do all of the poses in 50 minutes. And one, bending the knees and coming down. Now you're already thinking about what you want for restorative practice. You're already planning on what you're going to do with the next 10 minutes. Please have a restorative practice for yourself, yeah? I'm just going to go ahead and extend the legs out and get you set up for Shavasana. There you are, resting. And let's get ready to finish. Keep resting. 
No hurries, no worries. You don't have to leave your mat just because class here is over. Mm -hmm. Take a few deep breaths there. And this is the guided truth. Om Bhuvu Vasudha Tatsavi Juvare Bargo Devasya Timahi Diyo Yo Prachodaya The light in me sees and recognizes the light in you and for that, for that we say Namaste. All right, see you again soon. I'm glad it all worked out. We'll be back on Saturday for another Flow Yoga Mob with me, Yogi Cecily. Bye now.